Well, I spoke about uh, results of our measurements of drayage truck emissions. We were specifically uh, looking at the Port of Oakland and at a program to accelerate the cleanup of, uh, of trucks operating in and out of the port. So we were set up uh, on, a, on a bridge over the main access road into the port and we measured, uh, we measured the emissions from individual trucks as they drove by on the main road underneath uh, and we were able to calculate their emission rates from our, our, our measurements, uh, uh, measurements for individual trucks as they pass by. And this was very specifically and directly measuring the emissions from individual trucks and I take your point that there's ships and uh, railroad locomotives and all kinds of other equipment and air pollution sources in the neighborhood and we tried to subtract off those background contributions to air pollution and only look at the, at the excess emissions that we could directly associate it with the individual trucks as they drove by. The main, uh, the main finding was that the diesel particle filters, which were one of the main controls that got installed on a lot of the port trucks, that they really uh, made a big reduction in the black carbon or the exhaust diesel particle emissions that were, that were uh, um, uh, observed at the port. And uh, we also saw reductions in NOx emissions. And I think that maybe the key point I want to emphasize is just how impressive it is how quickly those emission reductions were achieved. Instead of waiting a decade or more to rely on natural fleet turnover, that, that there was this really accelerated program to retrofit or retrofit filters on older trucks or replace them with newer equipment. And so the reductions were not only large, but they were achieved rapidly. Uh, one issue is that the port in some sense is a preview of, of changes that are becoming statewide for, the, for not just at ports and rail yards, but on you know, all of the highways and, and uh, for the entire state. And also there's uh, more advanced controls for NOx. So far, we, the filters that were really focused on controlling diesel PM, particulate matter, and there's a new kind of catalytic converter for controlling NOx. And we didn't see much of that yet at the port, but that's coming now in the next, over the next few years, and we're very interested to look also at the effects of these, of these new catalytic converters for lowering diesel NOx, uh, as well as the particulate matter, diesel PM, that we've already looked at. Well, so there's another dimension of, uh, that you know, people are concerned about, which is ultrafine particles, particles that maybe, uh, if you were to inhale them, could cross uh, the, through the lung and enter into the bloodstream and then maybe get to other parts of the body and cause you know, health effects that we're only starting to study and understand. And so we also addressed those ultrafine particle uh, emissions in our study and uh, found, I, I think, a, a, a promising result, at least for the, the conditions observed at the port, that the ultrafine particles went down um, as well as you know, as well as the other pollutants we looked at. So you know, people have been raising concerns that ultrafine particles might increase as a result of these uh, advanced emission control systems on the on the diesel trucks, and, and we we saw the opposite. We saw that those emissions were reduced.